Our second speaker today is Jerry Dixon, and I get the I get the pleasure of introducing Jerry not only as our speaker, he will be giving a speech from the same manual that Linda's speech was from, the public the advanced manual on public relations. His speech will be the first project in that manual, which is the Goodwill speech. The goal of the speech is to give us information about something that should inspire us or should give us the sense that we want to do something to follow up on it. It's a, it's a public relations speech. And in, in order to introduce the specific topic, I also have the opportunity to present to Jerry his Distinguished Toastmasters plaque. So I'd like to bring Jerry up here right now oh. to hand over. And oh, we need to take a picture. We should take a picture of this. Oh, absolutely. Yes. This should not just be a moment like this. Yes. I got it. Thank you. So, Jerry, congratulations. This is an achievement not just for you, but for our club and for Toastmasters. Yes, Thank absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. And part of what allowed me to acquire this award is due to Sandra's help. So I want to really thank you very much for helping me on my last project to get the Distinguished Toastmaster Award. So how long does it take for someone to earn a Distinguished Toastmaster Award? It's different for everybody, and it's up to you. That can vary greatly. I've heard of people who have gotten their Distinguished Toastmaster Award in just under two years from when they originally joined Toastmasters. I've also heard of people who have been members for 20 years and they're still working on it. Now, if you want to try and get your Distinguished Toastmaster Award really quick, like two to three years, Toastmasters is going to become a major part of your life for that time. You're probably going to have to go to meetings at least twice a week and give speeches probably every two weeks because to get through the entire Toastmasters program, you're going to be giving about 50 speeches. Now, it took me 12 years for me to get mine. And the reason why it took so long was for two reasons. Number one is that I didn't take a serious look at my competent leader manual until I got my advanced communicator gold award. And that's because I really didn't have any intention of going to the leadership track. I really didn't have any interest in it. I was mainly interested in giving the speeches. But when I got to the top gold award, I thought, now what am I going to do? <laughs> go through and give more speeches again? But so I took a serious look at Competent Leader Manual and the other leadership awards. And I determined that it really isn't that difficult. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be in the first place. So I started with that track. The smart thing to do is to do both the speaking awards and the Competent Leader Manual at the same time. That will save you a lot of time. So what I'm going to do now is go through this outline. Sandra, could you pass those outlines around? I have one. You have to everyone? Okay. So I'm going to go through this outline, and there are five manuals, or five manual awards, that you have to go through. The, the Common Communicator, and then the three bronze, silver, and gold communicator awards. And the only extra little thing is that for the gold award, you have to mentor a new member. Then you do your competent leader award. And then there's some other projects you have to do. Going through the leadership track. You give two presentations from these two workbooks that it shows here, which is not that difficult. Basically, it's just giving another speech, a longer speech. And then you complete a high-performance leadership project. And that doesn't have to be too difficult. You just have to have four people work with you on the 
project, and they don't have to be Toastmaster members. They can be anyone who's helping you with whatever project you're working on, as long as they are willing to give you their name, address, and phone number, and then sign your manual saying that they helped you with the project. And then you have to serve at least six months as a club officer, go to officer training, and prepare a club success plan. That's real easy to do. Many of you are doing that already, or already have gone through your, your officership. And then you have to serve 12 months as a district officer. Now this is a long commitment. That's a lot of work. Most likely you're going to be an area director. And that amounts to basically two things, visiting all the clubs in your area, writing up reviews of those clubs, and then conducting your area contests. And you go to monthly meetings with the district. It's a lot of work, but I'm glad I did it. It gave me some good experience, in addition to helping me earn my DTE award. And then the last project is to successfully serve as either a new club sponsor or mentor or the club coach. And the key word there is successfully. If you fail at those projects, you don't get credit for it. So first I tried sponsoring clubs. I failed five times at trying to start a new club. And then I said, okay, let's try coaching. <laughs> Now that's the second reason why it took me 12 years. It's because I had gone through this whole process except for the last project. And when I started on that last project, I was, it took me three and a half years to do just that last project. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can either get on the waiting list with the district to be assigned a club to sponsor or mentor or coach, which I was on the waiting list for about two years. I got tired of being on the waiting list. So the other way to do it is to go out and find your own club. Start a new club. Now being a club sponsor is a difficult job. Because you have to start a new club with at least 20 members. If you have if you're assigned a club and you have 20 people ready to go, it's a pretty easy job. It's not that bad. But I tried starting clubs from zero up to 20. So that can be a lot of work. Now being a club mentor is easy. That is very easy, but you have to be assigned the position from the district. And then to be a club coach takes a whole year. Maybe a whole year, depending on at what point you're assigned. And if that, to be successful as a club coach, you have to see that that club earns the Stevens Club status. If it doesn't, you go through another year to do it. So that last project took me three and a half years to get through. But I finally made it. In fact, August 1st, this last Saturday, was my 12-year anniversary of the first day I joined Toastmasters. So now what am I going to do? <laughs> i got to think about that. What am I going to do for the future? I hope the rest of you are, have this Sigmund Toastmaster Award in mind. And I drew this up in this format to try and really simplify how to become a distinguished Toastmaster looking at the whole program at once. So I hope that helps you. And I hope that one day you will all become a distinguished Toastmaster.